hide me at all Cause where you go is where I go I don't need nobody else I got you And you got me too You can ride out of the blue I wanna do what you want to We can leave and run away Someday Someday I just got out of shower I've even washed my hair it's been a productive morning um, I want to show you guys I put this here so I can show it to you guys this is the new body lotion that I've been using and if I'm telling you I'm obsessed with it it's an understatement I'm not crazy about the scent of it to be honest with you guys I still prefer my bomb bomb like creams um, scent um, this is in a scent of um, Santal it's a very subtle scent I personally like a little bit of a sweeter scent but oh my god, this is the best moisturizing, like, um, sorry, there was a pear stock. This is the best moisturizing lotion I have ever tried. Like, it's insane and it has the most beautiful glow. Absolutely love, love, love it. If you never tried it, give it a try. Um, and I wanted to show you guys my new morning skincare as well. Not complete skincare. Sorry, it was my phone, but it got um not complete new skincare but the new product that i've been testing out generally speaking this morning when i'm getting ready i want to show you guys all the new products that like not completely new 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 lunches but like newer to me um that i have bought in the past month month and a half i've been testing um this was one of them and then the morning moisturizer that i've been using is this one i think i showed it to you guys in a few vlogs ago and this is the herbivore pink cloud really really like this um the first couple of times when i was um putting it on my face my face was not burning but like it had a tingly thing for like a couple of seconds but after that it went away so i put that moisturizer on and now i'm gonna go in with this beauty oil um why is hair stuck on everything <laughs> um I don't know how to pronounce this brand this is called i think Elalos. i have no idea i'm sorry if i'm pronouncing it wrong but um this newly launched at alta so i just want to give it a try i tried it like very few times probably like two to three times because with oils i'm like very selective and i don't try them on like every day because i'm scared they're gonna break me out so i will just do like that much and like rub it between my hands and just pat it on my face i saw camilla who's the creator of the brand uses it like this underneath the makeup and recently my skin has been extremely dry like extremely dry so that's what i do before going in with like foundation or whatever it is that i've been using i personally prefer to use oils at night but as I said, my skin has been really, really um, dry. So this is another new product. Of course, they are doing work by our house. Hopefully they stopped by this point. Um, so after the oil, I'm gonna go in with this Summer Friday new lip balm. Not only they came out with a tinted one, this is in the color, I think. Uh, what is it called? Um, nope, they're still going for it. I think nude something, beige something, I will link it for you guys in the description box. Oh here, vanilla beige and they launched a new packaging as well so it has this thingy. The previous one, I have it somewhere here. Oh actually it's in my handbag. Oh no, it's here. Dropped everything. So this is the original one and it, this was the lead of it but I personally like this one so much better. We are gonna hydrate our lips because my lips are very dry as well. 
I am going to start off with two new primers. Um, these are both from NYX. I tried them once yesterday and I really, really liked it. So this one is a NYX, NYX, <laughs> NYX Pore Filler Primer. And this one is a NYX Pore Filler Targeted Stick. So on half of my face, I'm going to do this one. On the half of my face, I'm going to do this. And you guys will be the judge of what do you think. This has a very weird texture. I'm not sure if you guys can see it. Do you guys see how it is? Isn't that weird? It's like it falls. It's very weird texture. But the effect of smoothing is really, really nice. I don't know if skincare wise if that's good for my skin. But once in a while, because I have a lot of like pores on this area, I think it would be okay. So I applied that on half of my face and then we're gonna go in with the stick and apply it on the other half of my face. My hands are slippery. Um, so the plan of action of the day is that I'm gonna get ready. I have to record a few reels so we're gonna do hair, makeup and everything and then I want to stop by H&M, hopefully, if I get the chance. And then I have a meeting in the afternoon. And at night, I am going to one of my friend's birthday. So, I'm doing a little bit of a heavier glam because I need the makeup to last literally until nighttime, until I touch it up. So, that's a plan of action for the day. So, those are the two new products that, like primers that I'm, like, testing out and then the next product is this one that i think i've talked about this before on my channel but this is something new like for the past month month and a half this is l'oreal's magic bb cream and um color green because as you guys can see i have a lot of redness so i like to apply this underneath my foundation one thing i would say though i feel like this is a little bit of a drying product it's not hydrating so if your face is like extremely dry like mine just be aware of it my skin was doing good, but I don't know. My Both my hair and my skin are like a little bit on the drier side right now. I think it's because like pool water and stuff and also um, I haven't been drinking too much water. So that's another thing. So that is done. For foundation, I'm going to use something a little bit hydrating. This is the combo we're going to go with. I'm going to first go in with the Hollywood Flawless one. And then I'm going to go in with Dior and Armani. I'm going to mix them together. I have no idea if that's going to work. It's a little bit risky. But you know what? We'll give it a try. Just like to apply this all over my face. I really, really do like this product for no makeup days. It's just such a beautiful product. And then I'm going to mix these two together and hope for the best i have a lot of foundations that i need to go through and i think the best way to do it is like mixing them together but i think you have to be careful of what like products you're mixing together because not everything blends together basically For concealer i'm gonna use my elf ones i use them in the color light peach and medium peach and if anybody cared for my uh, foundation the dior one is 3wo and our money one was 775 charlotte tilbury is 5.5 I am getting my Botox this weekend that you have no idea how excited I am. I was supposed to go tomorrow, but she called and she um, postponed it. I'm going to someone who I've never been um, to her before. Um, I will obviously like if you guys post it and I will vlog it and all of that, but I'm very, very excited. Last time I got Botox was August of last year. It's been a while and like look at the movement on my forehead like, I think I'm gonna need a lot of units but like I'm very very excited about it um, 
so i'll keep you guys posted on that i'm actually getting my hair done as well next week so next week will be a um what do you call it pampering kind of week i'm gonna try to go very very blonde because i genuinely miss my blonde hair even though my hair is not doing the best but let's just wait for that <laughs> i haven't blow dried my hair yet it's just still wet i'm just gonna let it air dry a little bit until i do my makeup after concealer we're gonna set under eyes with the charlotte tilbury magic powder because it truly is one of a kind powder I'm actually not going to try but these are new products I just wanted to let you guys know about them but I have tried them gave them many many chances and unfortunately they just don't work for my skin it's from the same brand Elanos what I'm so sorry I don't know what this brand is called I should have learned but anyway um this is a bronzing stick that this works when I don't have that much makeup on when I do have a lot of makeup on, like I have foundation and all of that, I feel like when I'm trying to blend this, it picks up from the foundation off of my face. So that's why I'm not going to give this a try. This is a great product for personally me on days that I don't have like a heavy coverage makeup underneath. No makeup days or like the days that I only have the Charlotte Tilbury one, that works great. The other product is this palette that as much as I wanted to love it, but unfortunately I don't, it just doesn't blend, it just... It's just not it. I really would really wanted to like it because this is a fantastic to go palette for someone who's traveling and stuff. It has highlighter, bronzer, blush, and all of that. It has a, like a beautiful mirror, but um, the, they're not buttery soft, unfortunately. As I said, I have a dry skin, so it might be that as well um but yeah those are two new products that unfortunately i'm not going to try out so we're good i mean not try out i have already tried them but like i'm not gonna apply it now because i know they don't work for my skin and i tried it many times because i really wanted to like it i'm gonna go in with my gucci bronzer that i'm literally obsessed with it's such a good bronzer blends like a dream And then I'm gonna go in with my Milani Baked Bronzer, which is nothing new. If you've been with me, you know I've been using this product for 10 years now, I think. I mean, I haven't been online for like 10 years, but like, um, yeah. I've been literally using this ever since the day that it came out. I am going to clean underneath my like bronzer with the powder. Just a little bit, so it's a little bit more defined. For eyebrows, these are the new products that I have been using, the Refi brand. I have the brow gel, the pen, and the pomade. The pomade and the pen, I'm not crazy about. So the next time that I purchase it, probably will only purchase the, um, what do you call it, the um, gel. Um, so I'm not going to even use the pen and the pomade, to be honest with you guys, because as I said, I'm not the biggest fan of it. Uh, for eyebrow pencil, I prefer... Why am I dropping everything today? I prefer my Huda one so much better. This is waterproof. It's super thin. It's so, e so easy to fill in my brows. And as I said, most important, it's like because it's waterproof, it stays on all day long. So I'm going to go ahead and fill in my brows with this. The um, pen of the other one is not bad. I still use it like on a daily basis. But on the days like today that I really need my like... um products to stay on my face literally all day i prefer to use this one i absolutely love the gel of it though it's white but it then just like disappears into clear and it has a fantastic hold I am not blessed with the bushiest eyebrows, but the owner of the brand has the most beautiful bushy eyebrows. So, like, looks gorgeous on her brows. But, like, it keeps them, like, spiky, if that's the correct word. And then it has this, like, built-in brush thingy that afterwards I'm going to, like, set them in place while they're drying. I know not everybody is into like bushy brows and stuff and definitely I'm not the one who has the best bushy brows I mean I don't have any bushy brows but like I'm 
gonna fake it until we make it <laughs> now we're gonna go into eyeshadow and for eyeshadow i'm gonna use this palette and i don't mean to complain a lot about this product but i'm not crazy about this eyeshadow palette either i'm sorry you guys can hear noises in the background but i'm really in a rush i have to get ready because i have this expand i have a very busy day ahead of me uh, but yeah these are very very powdery eyeshadows i really like the color combinations there are colors that i literally like right up my alley but unfortunately they're very powdery and they're not the softest and the butteriest but i'm gonna use them yeah i'm gonna first go in with this like light color and like um do you see how much fallout it has uh i'm gonna set my face i apply the false lash during the weekend oh my god my eye and a glue is stuck here i'm not sure if you guys can see there's a white glue stuck here and i'm not like i put oil there for it to like dissolve because i don't want to pull it because it's gonna pull my lash with it as well uh, but it's not going away so I'm left with like a white like glue patch on my lash line um, So yeah first I'm gonna go in with that color then I'm gonna go in with the color next to it which is like a crease color They're very pigmented color and there's no denying in that but they don't blend easily And as I said, they're very powdery. So like you have to be careful with the fallout That's why I haven't cleaned underneath my eyes yet because products have a lot of fallout even though i tap the product a lot but yeah, i'm gonna put this all over my crease take this orangey color and mix it in with this dark color and go dip in my crease a little bit more i see like they're not easily blendable like it already has patches i'm trying to convince myself to use them because Obviously, they're not the cheapest of the products and for specifically this eyeshadow palette. I paid $25 for shipping because it was coming from London um, I bought it off of net a -Porte and I needed it immediately for an unknown reason. I wanted it ASAP So I paid $25 extra for shipping which was not the smartest move um, So yeah I'm convincing myself to using it and making it work, but honestly, blending it is so hard. My Pixie palettes work so much better. Take a flat brush, I'm not going with this gold color, and apply it like to the front of my eye. Then I'm gonna take this shimmery one and then apply this in the middle of my lid. mascara lash freak one of the best 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 mascaras i have ever tried it's just fantastic my lashes are not doing good right now i have a lot of sparse areas i don't know ever since i stopped using the lash serum it's just my lashes are not the same um i actually ordered a new lash serum so i'm gonna give it a try and i'll keep you guys updated on what i think of it basically For blush, I'm gonna use the Hermes one in the color Rose Apricot, number 19. Really, really like this blush. It's such a beautiful color and very pigmented. For highlighter, I'm gonna use the Dior one in the color 03. You guys know how much I love my Charlotte Tilbury one. But for an odd reason, this started misting. Look how it's misting. Like it's shooting right at it. And I have to re um, put it in another bottle basically. Um, so unfortunately, I can't use that. <laughs> I'm going to use only my iconic one, even though I haven't been using this as much. Um, because I have noticed that when I use this too much, it shows my texture a lot more. Because obviously, the glowing product and glowing products show the texture a little bit more. So I go in with the lighter hand. And then I would apply this on top of it, but I have to put this in another bottle and I haven't had the chance to do it. So we're not gonna add that, which is really bad because I need something to make my um, makeup stay on for a long period of time. And this is basically the only product that does that, but I'm gonna do it probably in a couple of hours. But for now, let's just apply this. And this was my light hand, yes. 
<laughs> the lips, I'm gonna go in with the NYX lip liner in the color Nude Suede. For lipstick, this is a newer item to my collection. This is L'Oreal in the color 800. It's like a beautiful nude color. A newer product as well. This is Urban Decay New Lip Gloss, the plumping one, but this is not one of those that will burn your lips in the color Cruising. And I absolutely love, love, love the color of this. It is not sticky. And it stays on. It is not too pigmented. It's such a just beautiful, beautiful lip gloss. Okay, the makeup is done. Now I'm going to blow dry my hair, just straighten it, and then I will be right back. Just finished blow drying my hair. And the last new beauty product is this oil that I recently started using it. I mean, it's been a few weeks that I'm using it already. Um, you guys know, every time I wash my hair, I personally like to go in with my Gizu oil. Um, because I just love the smell of it. But I've been mixing this in my Gizu oil a little bit because I feel like this is a little bit more hydrating than the Gizu one. Love, love, love the my Gizu oil. Nothing will ever change that for me. Um, I just love everything about it but i feel like now especially that my hair is a little bit dry needs a little bit more hydration i actually use the leave-in conditioner now i use byredo or the gizu one i just alternate between them i love them both um and then um i add, the, add like one or two drops of this in my gizu oil and apply it all over my hair a lot of people told me to try to try the gizu perfume um, I don't think it's just the same as the oil. It smells the same, but I don't think it stays on my hair as long as the oil does. Um, so I'll put a little bit of the Gizu and then like just like one, two drops of this one. And in between wash, I only use this one because I feel like it's very nourishing. And then apply it to the ends first. I've been really enjoying wearing my own natural hair like without any extensions. Don't get me wrong, I love extensions, but I feel like I'm at this stage that I'm very happy with the length of my hair. I really hope this front bits can get a little bit long ASAP. I just had like a trim as well like last week. I mean I trimmed it myself and I like chopped off very wrong like these areas, but it's fine. Um, I know it like this style is now in like having like layers in the front but personally not the biggest fan of it i like a blunt cut um so yeah i've been really enjoying wearing my own natural hair so the oil is in um by the way i think applying oil after blow drying your hair um just wait until it cools down a little bit not when it's actually hot hot when it's cooled down a little bit then apply the oil i feel like it just works better and absorbs into your hair better um while it's like hot i feel like it can affect the shape of your hair to like you know like uh, not the shape like the style of your hair basically anyway the hair is done as well now i'm gonna get dressed because i'm running really late i thought my um like meeting is in the afternoon but it is not it's actually in the morning it's in like um what time is it it's literally in like 45 minutes so i'm just gonna quickly get dressed uh, and ready for my meeting good morning everyone i just had salad so i was like making sure i don't have anything on my mouth i actually made the best pasta salad yesterday um i uh posted it on my instagram reel so for sure check it out if you're into like easy quick dinner lunch kind of situation so i just had it and it was delicious um i look a little bit rough because i just came back from my botox appointment i actually vlogged it so in my upcoming vlog you guys will see all of that i'm not gonna get into it in this vlog obviously she had to remove my makeup so that's why i look a little bit not sorted basically uh, but I wanted to show you guys a few bits and bobs that I got from ASOS. By the way, I think I didn't vlog yesterday after I got ready for the day. The day got extremely, extremely busy. I didn't continue vlogging because it's just... I was overwhelmed, overwhelmed basically. So, I just bought a few stuff from um, ASOS. They were having a sale. I don't even think there is like a specific pattern. Like, 
spring fall i don't even know what i bought to be honest with you i just remember a skirt dress a top i don't remember exactly so we're gonna get into it uh, my tan is looking very very patchy I, I have to remove it today so please just ignore it let's just ignore my tan i don't know what is happening with my tan situation but anyway Oh, we're gonna get into this box uh, I am not going to try on the items because uh, truly and honestly I can't be dedicated enough and I don't have that much time to film because I have to hop into shower uh, remove my tan and then wash my hair and get ready because I'm going to an event tonight um, so yeah it's not gonna be a try on haul but I'll show you guys in the, in the description box below I will mention if I kept it or I returned it before I get to the ASOS haul I got um, earrings um, let me show you guys these earrings um, what is this brand called Adorn Monday last time I did a haul from them again I didn't know how to pronounce this brand I need to learn how to pronounce the brand but anyway um, I bought a few uh, bits and bobs from them um, so I'm just gonna show them to you guys because I wanted to change up my like entire stack um, and these are all like uh, 14 karat solid gold and it takes like literally three weeks for them to ship so one of them is this which is like a set of like round simple studs very very cutesy love them and then this one is a single um if my camera focuses on it hello there we go it's like a simple round stud i absolutely love 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 their jewelry so i'm gonna switch like all of these to this little ones but before putting them on my on my ear i just want to show them to you guys now let's get to the asos box we all know how much i love white we all know how much i love beige and we all know how much i love long sleeve um dresses so i just got this very very cute dress i'm gonna insert the picture of the model wearing it since i am not trying it on for you guys uh, but it's a very very cute dress i think i bought it in a, both size 14 and 12 because i was not sure which size will fit me especially when the waistline is so restricted like it's not the stretchy material i always like to like try on a size bigger as well uh, but this is very very cute it's actually a very heavy dress has a like this would be actually okay to wear during fall and winter because it's like double lined um, and like during um, summer and spring probably this would be a little bit too warm but it's a very very cute dress that's the first item then we have this that i think i saw someone was wearing this on instagram and i was inspired by them or something similar to this uh, actually yeah i saw a reel that someone was styling in amazon style and they bought it from amazon but i saw the similar one on a so i just got it it's like a v-neck dress long sleeve with very very cute like colors um as we all know i'm a little bit into colors recently oh can you remove the neck no you can't i thought you can remove this color but you can't um i got this in a size us 12 and i think this is going to be a little bit short on me but i will try it and i'll again as i said let you guys know in the description box below if i decided to keep it or i am returning it as much as i am very much into colors recently i am into wearing black as well it's very very odd for me to wear black but when i saw this dress i was like this is very chic um this from the look of it oh my god the hardware is silver i just realized that i don't know why i thought it's gold okay this will be a return because me and silver hardware is just doesn't go together while holding it up you guys can see actually how cute this dress is but it's like a velvet dress and i thought it's like sexy feminine you know but because the hardware is silver this would be a you know and unfortunately i'm gonna go ahead and return it and probably this would be small on me as well um i got this in a size us 12 but yeah this will probably be small on me and to be honest with you it's not the best quality it's very very like thin and see-through like i literally can't see through this uh, but besides that the hardware um is silver and that's a no in my book this is a green oversized shirt i saw a very cute style oh my god this is too big but like i mean it's oversized supposed to be 
Um, this is in a size US 14. And the way that I think I'm gonna style this um, is with the belt and like boots. It's gonna look very, very cute. And I'm very much into green recently. Not this green though. This is not the green that I thought it would be, but I have to try it on and see how it will look. But I feel like with belt and like boots, this, this will look very, very cute for a fall style because I never have enough sweaters. I had to get this one too, but ooh, don't like the material. Yeah, don't like the material. It feels like a nylon, but I thought this would be a very cute piece to have like just like around the house and when I want to be casual. I don't want to be casual a lot in my life, but when I do want to be casual, I thought this would be a very cute look with like biker shorts and stuff, but I don't like the material. It's very plasticky. Um, this is from a brand called Urban Revivo and this is US 12. It just was a very cute, this kind of colors are very much in right now and I'm not a like button up kind of person. I don't think I've ever had any like button ups like this. Um, but I just thought overall this would be very cute but and like I like how like this whitish nudish color but I really don't like the material of it. It's very lightweight. Is it nylon? Let's just read that it says 100% cotton and why does it feel like this I'll let you guys know if I decided to keep it or not <laughs> how adorable is this it's like a high neck bodysuit and it's like your shoulders are open and then you have the sleeves the sleeves look very very small let's see if that will fit me yeah barely they will fit me this is in the size um let's see usaxl it's very very cute i feel like this would be a great piece to have during fall and winter and like obviously ribbed material is very much fall and winter in this chocolate brown now as well the same design like i feel like with white pants this will look very very cute and chic even with like brown leather pants this is from a brand called breshka breshka am i saying that correctly and again this is an extra large as well oh my god with leather brown pants i have a pair of pants from express um this will look very fall appropriate i'm excited i'm excited for fall was i blind when i was shopping because again the hardware of this is silver i mean 99 percent of the time i'm dropping everything 99% of the time the hardwares are, but this is cute. This is a cute skirt. I really, really, really like it. I feel like with my Gucci ties that would look very cute or like oversized sweater. Yeah, 99% of the time the hardware on clothing, especially on like leather, is silver. You know, like the zippers on the side of the leggings and stuff. Very rarely I came across... Okay. Very rarely I came across um clo like leather clothing that they have a gold hardware um but honestly i don't mind this it's very cute i have to see how it sits on me um uh this is in a size us 12 and i don't know how to pronounce the brand rebellious rebellious um so yeah i'll give this a try and i'll let you guys know what i think of it Oh my god, this is such a cute skirt. It's a leather skirt. Obviously the color obsession um, This is from the same brand rebellious and this is in a size US 12 um, Can you guys see how cute these things are like the waistline is it like comes up and I thought this would be very cute It has like pockets on the sides. I just really really like it. I think with white this will look very very cute the next top is something very much out of my comfort zone. I just I thought saw it online and I thought it's like cute and different from what I would normally wear. Probably this will be a return. This is a little bit too trendy for my liking, but I just really like the color. I feel like it's a very fall color and like this design is obviously very much in. Um, like the front of it is completely open. 
you can tie it if you want like for it to be very much like closed but still a little bit of skin will show um but um yeah i don't know if i will keep this or not this is from the same brand rebellious and this is in a size us 12. that is basically my very random asos haul i just wanted to show you guys these items before they um sell out just make sure you check the description box below for the products that um, i decide to keep and you guys know all this styling will happen happen over on my instagram so i'm gonna love you and leave you so don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button and i will see you guys on my next video bye